and it feels like the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. Everybody on campus is so, so sweet. Beautiful, wow. I'm so proud to be Hornet. We were part of this moment and now it's that it's finally here, it's just it's a great feeling honestly. It was very hard. I cried a couple of times, but I did it. I'm the first to graduate in my family. <laughs> so I'm so excited right now. And now we're excited to grads. It's been a wonderful ride. So it feels very, very weird. You don't want this day to end, you don't want this ride to end. Welcome, Hornet family. Today, we celebrate the graduation of 9,500 students. I want my legacy to be the Hornet Honor Code, a promise to be a civil and caring campus where everyone belongs where we value diversity and respect each other. Kane Bramble Manor, Dante J. Tennington, Erica Noemi Rodriguez. Congratulations. Today, you truly are made at San State. President Nelson, I'm proud for everything you did. You are probably one of the best presidents here at Sacramento State. Singers up. I think he did a great job. He changed Sac State for so many positive ways, and I love, um, I love that he always showed out for the students. I'm there. I'm there. La, la, la. I'm so proud of my daughter. Sac State was amazing. The community at Sac State is just chef's kiss. Everybody supporting me and uh, making sure that when I didn't believe in myself that they believed in me. People from all types of backgrounds, walks of life, uh, and that really makes me someone feel welcomed and just really included. I feel amazing and I feel supported by my grandma, my loved ones, by my peers, and especially by President Nelson of Sac State. And I'm so proud to be Hornet. I think it's an amazing feeling uh, to yeah, accomplish everything that I said I was going to do and setting the, a good example for her. It's a huge relief, a huge relief, but also I know I'm going to miss it. That's usually how it goes at the end of like summer or like the end of a break, I miss it. Remember your hearts and remember that in your hearts, you're hornets and you'll always be hornets.